Hello everyone, welcome back to Virtual Pool 4 Blog. We're going to do another game today. Uh, won the first round 11 3 against Flourish. Uh, won, lost the second round. Great game that one, fabulous game. Now I beat Danger, so I'm playing the Free Wheeler today. I know I haven't done many videos, guys. I can only apologise for that and suggest that I will get myself back into it. If you guys are interested, probably the best place to find me these days is on the Twitch. Uh, streams because I'm doing plenty of that now here I'm taking the risks I need to follow it in follow it in follow it in yes got it that was a risk if I'd had it worked I'd have been snookered of course uh, but yeah I'm still playing guys still enjoying it but obviously twitch is where to find me and uh, now how am I gonna do this one hmm. I think that's the right way to do it Ooh, got a nice kiss there. That was very lucky. Um, so yeah, I'm on Twitch. If you go to uh, True Footy Manager on Twitch, you'll find me on there. Mostly Football Manager, but I'm going to do a little bit of pool as well. But I need some of you guys to come over and watch the stream because otherwise I don't get anyone in. Nobody else seems to do virtual pool streams, but I'm going to be doing full matches on there. Um, so if you're interested in that, then please come over and support what I'm doing. Uh, don't need donations, nothing like that. It's not that's not the reason I do it. But like I say, twitch.tv slash true footy manager. And hopefully we can all enjoy that. So break and run in the first um well not break and run, but a run out. Loses round three. I still haven't got the number one guys. I don't think I'm ever gonna quite get that. Oh and that white's in. Oh dear. It's a tough ask. The game against, I wish I'd recorded it, it was the uh, the match against the Flourish, or was it Fatch, I can't remember, anyway, the one I lost 11-9, and by God, that was a, a slobber knocker, that one, that was a that was a truly excellent game, I enjoyed it from start to finish, it was one of those games where neither of us got two racks ahead except for once in the match, where I think I went two racks behind, and then I got three racks in a row, went one up, and then it was just nip and took all the way. Um, and I took out some good clearances. Now that should check and go behind the nine, so he's made a mess. And that should be left on. Well, it's not quite. Now do I need to probably double this and then try and spin it behind the nine? That's worked out perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. Hard to do them. So we're going 2 1. Remember, this is a race to eight. And like I say, guys, I haven't done a lot of videos, uh, but I do appreciate looking at the hit counters. I do really appreciate the support that you guys are giving the videos. It should keep me motivated to still do them. Now with this one, I'm going to screw back at the red and hopefully... Oh, that was... That, that's... <laughs> Less said about that, the better. But I do still enjoy doing them. I just haven't really... I've been trying to get the Twitch going. It's something that I want to want to get, get sorted. So if you guys come over, join in the stream. I'll put a... The link in the description below, and also, if I can remember, a oh, that's gonna be hard to get out of. Hmm. No, I'll put a, a link on the screen, just a little overlay, so you guys can see it. Would love it if you could come over and support what I'm doing there. Um, the massive benefit of that, if this knocks that in, oh, now that's gone awkward. The benefit of Twitch, guys, the thing I really like about it is that we can interact in the chat. So if we can get a few views over to enjoy some of the streaming. Now, if that doesn't go behind the four, which it would have done if I'd hit it harder, but I've given Freewheeler a, a chance that he might only need half a chance. That's nice clearances here. Two, two, two. Okay. Um, right. Just gonna hit this with a little bit of pace. Right. I'm just gonna halt the stream for a sec. Right. We're back, and that's gone wide. Just so usually when there's a ooh, when there's a menu, um, that's what does it normally when a when a pop up comes out. Right, this one is tricky. 
I'm just gonna take a bit of my normal pace off it. Don't wanna go behind the six, that's perfect. I like that shot. That's the one thing that I was exhibiting yesterday when I was playing, just offline, just on my own. Control of the cue ball was really, really good. I think I control the cue ball just about as good as anybody. I know that's So I'm going for the eight here, eight ball. Hmm. It's a nice shot. So three, two. Well, the five's gone, so I'm just looking for a hit on the one. Four's awkward. Now, I thought I had that, but I didn't. Loading up a lot of side, and we're getting a lot of jumping again. Sorry, guys, I have to just deal with this. Right, hopefully it should be better now. So foul. So let's have a look and see what we need to do. Um, we need an angle. So I'm going to hit this down towards the eight. A little bit too straight though. Oh, I missed it. Those are the types of shots that on VP3 they used to go in pretty much all the time. Well, they're not too good now. That is enough. So that was a let off, potentially game changing moment. A re mistake after the first mistake. So four two. And we get a couple down. Do we get a shot on the one? If we do, we've got a good chance. So here is where you've really got to cinch it in. And this is for the benefit of Jeeves. I actually uh, know where I got the word cinch from. It's actually a WWF term, WWE, where they say you're cinching the headlock. So it's really when you crank down. So that's where I got that from. That's it. Oh, I thought I had it. So yeah, when you cinch it in, you kind of uh, you kind of really tighten it. So in terms of concentration, when you cinch it in, you really concentrate. So it is actually a word. It's more of an American wrestling phrase where you got a headlock and you squeeze. That's essentially in. Just I heard somebody use it. When I think it was Jim Ross when I was watching a, a WWF, a WWE. Sorry. Right, I'm gonna try and play safe here. No, I don't come through. Ah, oh, you joking, man? Oh, and he's got it as well. Good shot. Yeah, this is where pool is cruel. You make like a half mistake. Well, that's lucky as well. Right, I'm going to try and, my new resolution is to try and leave the balls as much as I can so you guys can get the full enjoyment of the game. I know I had a few comments 
people mention that I shouldn't do that, but when there's like a shot like that where you know where it's going, that's fine. Um, I don't think I can. Uh, it's not going to work out well for me. I can't help it because I like to move the game on. So that is going to be tough for him. So this is the one that I really need to capitalize on. So max concentration here. Well, it's good. And finally a nine ball for the to go into the lead again. So five four, so it's a nice close contest. Got one in. Oh look but so we get a nice um Too far. What I'm going to try and do here is to hit the eight full in the face and stop the white. Okay, well I haven't, but as long as I hit it, I was okay. I shouldn't have hit it close to the cushion though, because that's now made it a lot more tough to clear up. That just went wrong on a number of levels. And I've given him it. That was terrible. That should have been. Yep, that's okay, isn't it? So 5-5, five, five, threw that one away. Should have been 7-4. Four. 6-4, four, sorry. It's amazing how one of the, these games can turn around. I'm not quite sure what he's going to do here. Probably just play safe, leave it at the top. Is he going to get on the back cushion? Is he? Is he? Well, that's a chance. That is definitely a chance from the freewheeler. And nice pot there. to travel that's okay what a terrible shot that was So really can blame no one but myself here. The computer's trying to lose.
Right, I need to really sort myself out here. Still in this game, but didn't don't really deserve it. feeling this is in off so I'm gonna oh that's a good shot that six six Right, we're almost solving the puzzles here. Might get a chance to go to the hill if I can just mop these up. Seven six go up the hill. So seven six I've got me sell a half a well, it's a good chance to win. I've had a poor middle of the game, a good start and a good finish. It's not over yet though. This could be seven all. It is. Okay, so I'll have to wait and see if we get a chance really. Looks like a dry break. That's worked out as a nice um, little touch. So I want to try and get behind the green here. I haven't hit it hard enough, I don't think. Would have been perfect. And I've also left the, the yellow, so this could be my last shot. I've missed that, and that's close to middle. Ooh, very close. So precision shot here. Oops. Not good. Gonna have to jump it. I think I've left it over the bag. Oh, never in the world. How did I even miss? I think you can get this as well. Always oh, wobbled it. Right, you shouldn't get another shot now. <laughs> right, come on, Mal. Disaster. Absolute disaster. I'm going to have to drill the brains out myself on those shots. Ah, oh, crap. Yeah, it's all over. Well, that's unbelievable. Well, guys, as I say, the winner is the one that makes the last but one mistake, and I made plenty of mistakes there, but I won 8-7. So let's just have a look at the draw and see where it's uh, meant for me in terms of who I'm playing next. It means I'm next playing the pro with the show. So thank you for watching, guys, and I will see you all on the next video. Don't forget, come and see us on Twitch.